this is Dave from Geekanoids and I've got two products here from Ozaki. You can buy them separately but it certainly makes sense to show you them in the same video. The first one is the Ophoto Gear iPhone case for the iPhone 4 and 4S. And if you want to, you can buy an additional tripod that goes with this case. And you can also get hold of this. This is the Ophoto Anti-Drop Lanyard for the Ophoto series of cases. Now this is quite a long sort of lanyard strap and it works with this case. But I mentioned the tripod. You can use this with any tripod with a standard mount. You don't have to use the Ozaki one. And the case is really innovative. They do some nice designs, Ozaki. Now let's just take this out of the case very quickly, or out of the packaging, I should say. And we'll close that up. Let me just show you around the back here very quickly. I've obviously got the yellow black version here. You can also get it in red black, sort of a brown, tearly sort of color, uh, silver and gray, and also black and silver combination. You can see what it looks like with that lanyard strap attached as well. Now, this is what we get inside the packaging. We get the case itself, and we get some instructions about how to fit various things. Very, very simple to do. And that is all you get. You don't get any screen protector in the case, in the box at all. This is the case up close. Sort of a hard finish on the inside. Not soft at all, which is surprising. Nice gloss finish to the sides. And then this soft feel back. This is sort of a leather type finish on the back. And I would have liked to have seen that on the inside as well, but that's just me. Let's pop this in. So fitting is very easy. We're going top edge first, and then we just ease the iPhone into place. There we go, so that's in the case. Now you can see that it's a, a nice fit. We've got sort of no raised edge profile on the top edge, so you do need an additional screen protector really. Nice large cutout on the bottom for the speakers and dot connector and a microphone. Large cutout on the side for the volume silencer switch. Cutouts on the top for the earphone jack and sleep wake button. And then round on the back, a nice large cutout for the camera. So we're not gonna have any flashback problems on the back there. Now this is the little clever part on the case. And I'm just gonna grab my little uh, leather man tool here. And you can actually unscrew this like so. And then once this is out of the case, you have to make sure you don't lose that. And then we can put whatever we want on it. Well, I've got a little Joby Gorilla Pod here, which I'm gonna be using in a moment. But the first thing I'm gonna show you is this lanyard. There we go, so that's that removed out of the packaging. And then this is a sort of stretchy, sort of silicon material, and this is gonna go over your shoulder, around your neck, to enable you to just hang your iPhone in a really easy position. And then this screws into this portion here, like so. And then once we're in, that's a little bit strange. This is something that I didn't quite like about this when I was looking at this before. You get to this position here, and you wanna turn it one more time, but you can't it won't quite go one more time, so you have to leave it in this position. And it doesn't mean it's gonna unravel, but I would have liked to have just turned it one more sort of revolution there, but it just won't go, so you're left with it in this position. And then this just hangs around your, your neck or over your shoulder, and then you've got quick access to your phone. So let's just remove that. I'm not too impressed with the strap, actually, to be honest. It just, um, it's these little notches here. There's a couple of little sort of notches just in here. I'll just show you this up close, if I can get it to focus. There we go, these little notches. And they just don't seem, they do, do they push in? Yeah, they do push in. Let me just try, I'm gonna be fair to the product. Let me try that one more time. Because I wanna turn that once more, just to get it to lock on. So let's go in and just give it one really hard turn. That's, it really isn't gonna go past that point. So these pins are holding it in place, but it just doesn't seem like a firm connection. But it's not gonna come off. Whilst it's on your, your neck or shoulder, just keep an eye on it, and I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. So that's the lanyard. But what I'm more interested in is being able to use this with my little Joby Gorilla Pod here. So let's pop this onto here, like so. And we'll leave it in. Let's go round one more. So there we go, so that's nice and tight on there. 
so that fits perfectly and then this just slots on to my Joby Gorilla Pod. And then when it's mounted on the Joby Gorilla Pod, we've got a really nice solution to be able to use this whilst we're out and about. Now, as I said, you don't have to use it with the Joby, you can use it with the Ozaki tripod or any mini tripod with a standard mount. What I like about the uh, Joby Gorilla Pod is it's got this quick release plate. So I've finished taking photos, I just lock my iPhone like so, pull the quick release, slide it off of the Joby, and then I can remove this from the Ozaki O-Photo gear case, pack up the Joby Gorilla Pod very, very quickly, super portable. This is gonna cost you about a tenner, by the way, and then you're good to go with your iPhone case. Now, apart from the strap, I wasn't too keen on the strap, I think the actual case is very nice. This does get in the way a little bit when you're holding the phone like so. It does sort of go into your hand just here. It's not uncomfortable and it's a small compromise to be able to have something with a tripod mount on it. So this is the Ozaki O Photo Gear iPhone case. This one's gonna cost you 29 pounds or $36. The lanyard, which I wasn't too keen on, these are 19 pounds or $22. So thanks very much for watching please do hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.